When assessing the effectiveness of United States public school systems, experts often turn to inequality as an explanation for shortcomings within systems. Inequality can be described as an unequal distribution of opportunity based on race or socioeconomic status. Although inequality is rooted in race and socioeconomic status, it is not necessarily caused by these factors. Instead, circumstances associated with these factors account for disparity in school systems. Over the past two decades, reformers and scholars have worked together in hopes of closing the gap for disadvantaged students in the United States. Reformers worked tirelessly to pass legislation to help better educational environments for all students. Scholars conduct numerous studies of education in the United States in an attempt to find the root of inequality within public schools. Advocates for education reform argue the importance of education as a foundation. Scholars believe everyone has the right to become informed members of society because education helps children develop a deeper understanding of the world around them. Inequality hinders the goals of education as the school system places already disadvantaged students in inferior schools. Disadvantaged students are then unable to rise above circumstance. School funding accounts for the amount and quality of resources available to students. Resources include textbooks, technology, and the general quality of the educational learning environment. Some scholars believe lack of school funding accounts for disparities within school systems, while others believe funding has little impact on performance. Differing views on the importance of education funding create different models to approaching education inequality. Another heavily researched subject is teacher certification. Scholars consider teachers a vital part of the education system. Current teaching methods also play an important role in determining the best solution to education inequality in America. Though scholars agree on the importance of teachers in classrooms, perspectives differ on which aspects of teaching are most significant, credentials or teaching methods. Factors outside the classroom contribute to inequality within school systems as well. Influences from peers, family members, and society affect students' learning. Scholars debate whether students with turbulent home lives or dangerous peer influences are more likely to perform poorly in school than students in less stressful environment. Conversely, researchers also evaluate the impact of positive outside influences, such as extracurricular activities. Being a complex, large-scale topic, education inequality is far too difficult to be solved by a single individual. Instead, scholars contribute research, opinions, and solutions in order to collectively better educational institutions for minority students. Certain areas of education often attract scholars in their quest for education equality. Heavily assessed areas include the importance of adequate funding, ample resources, and teacher qualification. Some scholars believe variables outside the school, including peer achievement, parental background, and students' involvement contribute to inequality within school systems. With such a variety of possible factors, the search for a solution to education inequality seems almost impossible. However, the underlying purpose of any educational research is the same, to improve the quality of education for all American students. Um, I don't think there's one solution one of the factors is um, teachers recognizing uh, the potential in students because it doesn't have to come from me. So often it's a teacher who believes in the student first and the teachers, our teachers can be fantastic mentors. Um, students supporting each other is um, very important, sharing information. The Someone once told me, his name was Mr. Crew, that in America, you can be as smart as you want or as dumb as you want. The choice is yours.